Alright, see you guys! My name's Leo Takahashi, a third year student at Koiwa University. To be honest, I'm barely scraping by with my scholarship payments and living expenses. That's why I spend my days working part-time jobs and burying myself in studying. Huh? A cat? Nah, it's a girl! Y you okay? What are you looking at, huh? This ain't a show. What the? I guess she's a bad girl. Ugh. You shouldn't move. I'll call an ambulance or maybe the cops. <gasps> Where the hell are you planning to take me, you bastard? What? Well, I'm not. I just thought you should go to the hospital. Shut up. Get lost. I can't trust guys like you. Hey, calm down. Ugh. Whoa. Ow. You okay? She's so close! Uh, hey, that's a serious injury! It's not a big deal! Ow. Anyway, I need to treat your wounds! Don't bother, just leave me alone! There's no way I can leave an injured girl behind! Huh? Don't act tough when you're like this! Uh. If you don't want to go to the hospital, I guess I can't force you. But at least let me take care of your injuries. I live in an old apartment with thin walls. The landlord also lives here, so if I do anything weird, everyone will come running if you raise the voice. Okay? Please? Yeah, right. Okay then. Just hold on a little longer. We're almost there. A few minutes later. If you try anything weird, I won't let it slide, got it? I won't. So you still have the energy to glare at me, huh? And then, after about 10 minutes... Hmm... I guess this should do. Mm. I'm sorry for using my clothes, but you can change into these. Feel free to take a bath whenever you want. Oh, and if you're hungry, you can eat this. Huh? What are you talking about? I'm leaving. If you wander around with those injuries, it's super dangerous. I'll leave for the night, so rest here. Hey, don't do whatever you want! You can leave whenever you want. Just make sure to put the key in the mailbox when you go out. It'd be helpful. And if you're gonna sleep, make sure to lock the door. You... Phew. I hope she'll rest. And 30 minutes later, I sneaked into my best bud Otakuda's crib, who's the biggest otaku in college. Yo, Otakuda! Thanks for letting me crash here, man! Almost blew my cash on a net cafe. Nah, don't mention it, bro. It was like some anime level stuff. Thought I was being a bother. Nah, no way, dude. It's one of your good traits, being all helpful and stuff. All right, since we're here, let's geek out and talk otaku stuff today. The next day. Geez, the key wasn't in the mailbox. Maybe. Um, I'm the guy who lives in this place. Welcome back! Ah, uh, I'm back! W whoa didn't recognize her for a sec! It's in the house! Get in already! Phew, uh, glad you're feeling a bit better. Uh, th thanks for yesterday. I didn't even properly thank you. And I was all snappy even though you were kind to me. I'm sorry. Huh? I thought she was a bad girl, but actually, she's a decent person. Given the situation, it's understandable. But... Hey, did you let anyone at home know? They might be worried about you. Not really. I don't really have a home to go back to. And I'll be leaving this place soon anyway. No home? Something fishy about this girl. She avoids hospitals and the cops. And what's the deal with her injury? Well, if that's the case, you can stay at this place. I'm hardly here because of work and uni. Really? Yeah, I don't mind, really. You're not gonna ask anything? Uh, everyone's got stuff they don't want to talk about, right? You don't have to spill everything. Besides, I'm also worried if your injury will heal properly. Huh? Hey, wait! Thanks! You're a good guy, you know that? <laughs> Thanks. Huh? Wait, did we just get closer? Nah, must be my imagination. But a few days later... Leo, welcome back! 
Whoa! I, I'm back, Reyna. You got some eagle eyes. Saw you walking up from the window, duh. Dinner's ready, now hurry up and wash your hands. Whoa, thanks. What? Her name's Reyna Saito, a third year high school badass living the bad girl life, apparently. She got into a brawl with a bunch of dudes, messed them up real good, and when she was about to deliver the final blow, seems like I intervened. She won't spill the beans about her home or school, but seems like she occasionally shows up at high school. But there are a few problems. Hey, I bought some huge meat! Figured it'd taste good if we grill it, you know? Uh-huh! Nice! Uh, this gotta be expensive. Even the milk and ham in the fridge have some fancy English labels. Could she be rich or something? Huh? You ain't chowing down much. You don't like meat or something? Nah, it's not that. It's just that when I think about how many days of work this meat costs, it's freaking scary. Oh, I get it now. Huh? Here. What? Eat up already. You wanted me to feed you, right? What? No. My arm's getting tired. Hurry up. Th thanks. It's so freaking good. <sighs> I'm glad. I ain't that good at cooking, so I can only make simple stuff. Sorry. Nah, that ain't true. It's super delicious. <gasps> now eat the rice, too. You've been working your ass off at your part-time job, right? Gotta fuel up. Come to think of it, my little brothers used to ask me if they could feed me like this. Additionally, for some reason, she has this cat-like, clingy, and affectionate nature. And another time, for example... Yo, Yuta! What you doing sleeping? Nah, my back's killing me. Working consecutive shifts at my part-time job is tough, man. In that case, I'll give you a massage. Huh? This is the best. You do everything yourself. Work hard at your studies, too. You help me out, so I'll heal you when you're tired. Thanks. She's kind of cute, like my little brothers. I wonder if Reyna sees me as an older brother. That's what I thought, but... Uh, it's raining. Should we run back? Huh? Hey, cutie. Want to go somewhere and have fun? We know a cool place. We'll even give you a ride. Aw, oh, man. They're trying to hit on her. They look pretty persistent. Oh, yeah? You got the guts to ask me out? Uh. Oh. Reyna! Hey, Leo, I'm here! Thanks for coming all the way. So? Got something else to say or what? N no, no, nothing. nothing! Hmm, let's go. Y yeah Wait, we only got one umbrella. So what? We can share it, can't we? Yo, what? Uh, it's cold. You'll catch a cold. You go take a bath first. Want to take a bath together? Huh? Yo, there's no way I'm getting in. Hurry up and take. Yeah, yeah, okay. Wait a minute. Because of the change in her attitude, it seems like I'm the only one who still thinks of her as just a sister. And on one day... Hey, did you see this girl around? Isn't this Reyna? But something about this guy seems sketchy. Nah, I don't know her. Let me know if you find her, all right? Uh, that night. Reyna, do you have a brother? Uh, no. Gotcha. So today, some shady guy asked about you. Maybe there's a connection. <gasps> I, I think you're talking about the wrong person. Well, it was definitely Reyna's photo. If she says so, then maybe it's not. But little did I know. The next day, Reyna was nowhere to be found. Guess there's a connection with that guy. Maybe she got caught up in some trouble. Gotta find her now. <gasps> Ow! You're the guy from... You took Reyna with you, huh? You better not have put her through some messed up situation. Huh? According to this guy who called himself Chato Yabasugi, turns out Reyna was indeed some rich girl. He said he works under Reyna's father, and he came to give me some reward for taking care of her all this time. Where is she now? She's at the engagement announcement party. What? Reyna had gone off the rails, trying to break free from her overindulgent parents, and she was running wild. Even though she got engaged, she put a condition like, if you can beat me, 
we can get married and ended up in a duel with her fiance. But that dude pulled a dirty move by having his crew fight for him and Reyna suffered a crushing defeat. Under the rule of a loss is a loss, she officially became his fiance. So that's why she was all beaten up that time. Man, you can't believe how hard it was looking for her, you know? And come on, you were pretending you didn't know anything. Here's some cash for you. Anyway, give up on the lady. <laughs> I ain't her boyfriend or nothing, but getting engaged to a guy like that is just too dangerous. I don't need the money, so take me to Raina's place now. Huh? You don't want the money? Well, in that case, I'll just take it. Do whatever you want, but get me to Raina's place right now. Fifteen minutes later. Hey, listen. Don't you dare mention my name, got it? Don't you go saying I took any money, all right? <sighs> hey, it's a promise, you know that? Hey, listen, man! Ladies and gentlemen, we are here today to announce the merger of Saito Group and Kosugi Group, as well as the engagement of their respective heirs. We will begin the engagement party! <sighs> Reyna! Huh? Leo? What are you doing here? Hey, hey, who's this guy? Cheating even before the engagement, huh? Isn't that quite an attitude in front of your future husband? This guy's the one who hurt Reyna! Enough chit-chat! Kick him out! No! Leo has nothing to do with this! Reyna, who is this guy? It's all good, right? It's a husband's duty to forgive a lousy wife, you know? Huh? Do you even realize what you've done? <laughs> He hurt a girl he was about to get engaged! Hurt? What do you mean, Mr. Kosugi? Uh, well... That's right, isn't it, Reyna? Yeah... He tried to make me feel better, but I couldn't say it. Dad, I'm sorry for being so selfish all this time. I don't want to marry such a cowardly guy! Reyna... And I've realized something. It's not just about strength. Leo taught me about kindness. And I want to marry him! What did she just say? Marriage? I was the one who was wrong. I said reckless things because I care about you. The engagement is off. Dad, thanks! Hey, boss is calling! Hey, let go! Mr. Kosugi, let's have a little chat, shall we? You seem to have quite a different story going on. Same goes for you, Charo. Huh? Why me too? You should know best about yourself. It seems Reyna's dad had asked Chato to witness the duel, but it turns out he received money from Kosugi and lied in his report. So her dad didn't know about the fact that it wasn't a one-on-one -on -one fight or the serious injury. I'm glad they made up. Well then, what about me? Huh? So, is this Reyna's husband? What? What the heck? Didn't you hear my confession earlier? I see the true love for Reyna in your eyes. I'm confident that you'll love the employees in the company just as much. Come join our company and eventually become the president. What? Dad, you're sticking too close to Leo. Back off. Leo, come over here. Oh, thank God. Leo, thanks. If it means you won't feel bad anymore, then I'm glad. But anyway, I'm telling you my feelings for you that I want to marry you. I mean it. But I know that you only see me as a little sister. Reyna, I don't know if this is romantic love since she's such a good person. Sorry, but I... Don't apologize. I'm not giving up, so don't think you're off the hook. Huh? To stand beside you who always tries your best, I still have a long way to go. I'll go to school, study hard, and become a woman who can support you. Of course, I'll also acquire some adult charm and make you fall for me. Be prepared, okay, darling? Uh-huh. Did it hit you? Reyna! Two years later, I joined Reyna's dad's company. After Reyna graduated from high school, we got married. And now we live together. Honey, I'm home! Welcome back! Want to have dinner first, or a bath, or maybe me? Hmm, let's take a bath together. Jeez, hurry up and get in. 
Yeah, yeah. One thing that changed is that Reyna started getting shy for some reason. Huh? Y you go in first. Yeah. Is she trying to make me too happy? I picked up a tough-looking bad girl, and now she's become an overly affectionate wife. I'm sure I'll continue to be teased by my sweet wife every day from now on. Hi! It's me, Mel! Thanks for watching my channel! I'm super happy if you watch the next and other videos, too!